morning guys just out on on the site here I'm gonna uh, just move a bit of scaffold inside and get a load of bricks out because it's underneath the scaffold on the inside but I was just sort of thinking I was wondering how much time have I actually spent working on the site and um, you know doing <coughs> various different jobs um, it just sort of came into my mind, I was thinking, I wonder how much time I've spent, how many days work I've actually spent on this. I haven't actually really kept any proper count on it. Um, just wondering, <laughs> it just, just popped into my head, I was like, I wonder how many days I've actually spent working on this. Um, is that obviously any days or sort of short days I've sort of come out and of really cracked on doing certain things um, and obviously on the guide's floor did quite a lot of work on that one but um, I just sort of was wondering to myself how much time I've put in um, not that it really matters much because it's going to be my own house basically our own home to live in um, so I'm doing it for them reasons but I um, just thought, I wonder how many days I actually have, have spent um, doing it. But um, again, it's not really work if it's your passion. Um, I'm not saying, oh, I'm so passionate about hard, gritty work. But um, obviously, you don't need to go to the gym when you're lifting blocks or plastering, even in general. But um, it's more a passion because it's going to be the house that you live in. So gonna be good that way um, but yeah that was sort of in my head and then the other thing was going on is all the mad details that I can do um, just with plaster work really and um, even in this room alone just just certain ideas coming into my head of the amount of videos of detail and the cornice and stuff but just plastered you know you've got the 50p walls out here and stuff then we've got the arch and then we're going to have like a, a higher ceiling there and then you know, this is just going to be a big big massive ceiling this one I'm not really looking forward to plastering that um, at all and then we've got a wee vault up in there this doesn't look too bad um, uh, mo most people said that the roof designers were said you'd probably better go on flat but I'm um, not, not sure. I think think this could look nice. Um, I uh, don't know if you can make it out, but it's just, just vaulted slightly up in there. Um, I think the, the idea of what, what the roof designer was saying was that you are highlighting it as a small thing. Um, but the beauty about it is, he said, which is true, I could just run. If, if I'm not happy with the way it looks after I board it, I can just run. Uh, a couple of timbers from the wall plates across and just board it straight through them um, but I think it's better to do it um, and then you know if it doesn't look nice it doesn't look nice we can change it then but th this is the kind of crazy thing. they're not crazy they're just things going in the mind and um, I was watching a show it's called The Traders and there was a bay window and it had nice plaster like returns coming up up these here pillars and um, had like nice 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 plaster casts coming up there so I've kind of been thinking about kind of do something sort of nice and fancy here um, and then maybe you know win the table <laughs> see I've already put the furniture in but maybe that the head of the table can sit there and have a chair or if the table's up there maybe have an nice wee chair in there or something but um again it's all, all things that can be done once we get this roof on and we'll have to sort of try and save up and get some money for windows, doors, gutters, facey board and stuff um, but once that's done it'll be all inside work really um, possibly the outside again crazy ideas the outside and stuff you should, I think you're really really gonna love it um, but again I had been thinking about vaulted in here and stuff but obviously it wouldn't work because well you can see the way that timber comes in to this room so you would only have like a half a vaulted rim um, which you know what it, 
made it look real nice too but the chimney would fail it slightly as well but it's not happening it's just normal in there and um, we'll maybe make it look nice with the uh, corners but yeah guys just kind of really excited to, to even just plan out um, if I start drawing things and planning things they will definitely happen and I've already done that with the porch which then is going to be the same as this bay window on the outside um, so they'll tie in on the outside so that the that makes sense to each other um, but yeah just, just a couple of wee ideas coming ahead I thought I want to get this on a video and share, share some of my some of my thinking with you um, but yeah a long long way from that um, and the other thing that was in my mind was I thought it was funny because originally when, when we moved out here the house we moved into is very very dundered in and has needs like new kitchen, new bathroom. Plaster work and it's not bad, but there's some things that me being me just just irritate me <laughs> looking at. So it does sort of need a good renovation. But I just thought it was funny because I thought I was gonna be doing lots and lots and lots of tutorials, renovating it and, and doing it up, maybe doing the loft, the conversion and all and then here here you are now building a house. <laughs> Which Again, guys, I don't normally promise things or say things and don't do it. That's not me. So what will be funny is once this is done, that house will be getting done up as well. So that's going to be... <laughs> it's just fell back on the list somewhat because it'll make more sense to move in here and then renovate there, obviously. Um, again, it's all, all, all money. So um, the hard ride work the faster it'll go which will be great um, but yeah guys just just enjoying making videos out here um, and I'm glad to see this timber work happening and really looking forward to getting this roof on